Hey, it's Tanya with FreeRangeCottage.com, and I wanted to come to you today with a thrift haul. Uh, my husband Rob and I have a lot of fun with this, and now all of our grown kids do it too. Um, we found some great home decor on a budget. I've never let budget stop me. When I was a stay-at-home mom, homeschooling my kids for 19 years, when I'm working, whatever, I still love to go out thrifting. It's the thrill of the hunt and you never know when you're going to find something great. So I found a few treasures and I want to share them with you today. Um, my first thing that I'm going to show you is this picture. I, it, it was in a different frame actually and I don't know how well you can see it. It's, I've kind of been doing architecture pictures, just real humble sort of barns and simple farmhouses and stuff. And this one is just so cute. I got this for $5. It was in a different old frame that really didn't do it any justice. It was filthy, covered in a layer of dirt. And I brought it home, cleaned it up and put it in this Ikea frame. And now I think it looks like a really cool piece of art. You know, there's a website called Minted and they have beautiful artwork, I love it. But for a piece like this, gosh, you would pay $75, $100 or something like that. So you can, this can be a real budget saver in the artwork for your walls department. My next piece is this throw and when I'm filming this, it's going into fall and everybody's looking for cozy throws. This is um, crocheted, found it in a thrift store when we were on a little road trip and it's in absolute perfect condition and this was 50 cents. So I'm pretty happy with that. It adds a lot of texture into my living room. Now, I've been looking for some greens and different things. I'm real picky on greens and whatever it is I bring into my house and I've been looking different places. I have so many real plants that I have a hard time with the fake ones. I don't want to store them. Are you with me? Do you know what I mean? You got to take it all down. You got to store it. It gathers dust. All those are an issue for me so I'm really kind of picky but I really did love this wreath. It's got a um, almost that rubberized finish on it where you could use it outside. I thought the the greenery looked real. It has the little pine cones in it and this was $6 and it's a really big wreath. So I think just putting some lights on this and uh, jazzing it up a little bit and I can use it on my front door or outside somewhere or something like that. And I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and you know, retail in a store, a big wreath like that, even half off at Hobby Lobby, they're gonna be, you know, $25, $30. So that was a really good savings. Um, oil paintings. I've been finding a lot of really nice oil paintings and we do have a flea market booth and they sell really well in there. This one is one I'm thinking I'm gonna keep though because I really like the subject matter. It's a tree and sort of a lot of greenery and leafiness and they're sort of moody. It almost looks like a paint by number but because it's so perfect, but it's not. And you can see, I don't know if you can see up close, the frame is really pretty, well done, sort of a weathered wood kind of finish on there. And I paid right around $10 for this. I had it hanging up in my living room, but my living room is more light and bright and black and white kind of look to it. So um, I took it down and I'm gonna try to find a place that's a little more of a moody room for this to go in, but that was a nice find. Again, artwork on a, uh, on a budget. Um, this chair, you guys, this chair. This was, um, I don't know how it's coming across on the, on the video, but it's like an off-white linen. It's got button tufting on it. The legs are finished in sort of the gray weathered wood look. I mean, it looks like something that would be right in Home Goods. And I paid $5 for it. I use some upholstery cleaner all over it. And I'm going to, I've been looking for a chair for my bathroom that I'm going to set up and use um, where I put on my makeup and everything. And I think this is just going to be ideal. It's just beautiful. I cannot even believe I found it for $5. It's perfect and comfortable and I just love it. So my next piece was a wood piece and this was also $5 and at a different thrift store. And you can see it's really rustic. It had like a vinyl 
uh, top just stapled on, like supposed to look like leather, but it didn't look like leather, it was really ugly. And I just pulled that off and you can see it's got the little nail heads. I mean, it's very rustic, I just love it. I'll use it as a plant stand, most likely, or even, you know, if you set it down next to a chair, it's a nice little place to um, put a drink or something like that. And then um, I found this little book. I'm always on the lookout for interesting books. This one's called Texas Wild, and I'm from Texas, so of course I love it. And I love the green color, and there's it covers all the different areas of Texas. So that was 50 cents. That was kind of fun. Um, now these were not thrift, but I wanted to include them because they're from At Home, and At Home was having major, major clearance. So it is thrift store price. It was normally $24.99. Can you see that? And they had them 75% off, so I got it for around $6. And I think these are just so pretty. Modern farmhouse, I need to wash it and clean it. And I will put um, candles, oh, and they also had some candles that were 75% off. And these flicker, and they're the ones that are battery operated, which I'm kind of going over to quite a bit because I don't really like the the live flame and I don't really like the um, what it puts into the air so I'm going to use those and I think that'll be just beautiful I'm not sh quite sure where I'm going to put them yet but I think they'll be really pretty through the fall this is something I'm super excited about we went to on marketplace there was a um, sort of a manufacturing kind of place in a town over and they were advertising wood mantles and we got a couple of those, which I'm going to show you. But this, they had these, um, what do you want to call these? Pillars, round pillars. And they gave me these for five bucks a piece. And I want to show you what I have in mind for them. They're kind of heavy. And I know they would be used for a fireplace or for a front porch or something, but they're hollow all the way through. I don't know if you can see. But I'm going to cut them off even, and then add, stack some square pieces of wood on the bottom and on the top and make these floor lamps. Just get light kits that you can pick up at Lowe's or Home Depot and screw the, the um, fixture in right here and then the, the cord will go through and we will have lights. I already have some, uh, what's it called? I already have the lampshades for them, some burlap lampshades. And I don't know if I'm gonna stain these or just kind of sand them down and put a wax finish. Tell me what you think in the comments, what would you do with these? But I've been pricing some really hefty floor lamps and the cheapest I found was like $75 a piece and I want two of them. And so these are $5 a piece. We'll see what my light kits cost. I'm sure they're less than 20 and a little bit of wood and I'm gonna have some beautiful unique floor lamps. Then I'm gonna show you over here, the last two pieces are the mantles. Now I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you these, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. This one is very boxy and we are thinking it's going to go here. And I think that's gonna be beautiful. We could stain it. I have some ideas about um, doing some sort of farmhouse corbels, like squared off corbels. I don't know. We're, we're just, uh, still have our brains wrapping around our kitchen remodel right now. So, but these were $20 a piece and it's insane. So I got two of them. Here's the other one. Ooh, it's more ornate. So I'm holding these up here. So now you can tell me which one you like better. This one too, also, we could add some legs onto it or we could, you know, jazz it up however we want. We could paint it. It's kind of a paint grade, I think, but some of the wood could be stained, so it might be able to be painted and stained. I'm not sure. If not, whichever one I don't use down here, I'm going to put upstairs in one of the rooms upstairs and make like a faux fireplace and have like a really cute setup with that just to have some, um, more decorative elements. That's the one thing about a 1980s house. They called it a contemporary or whatever. They didn't put any trim up anywhere. It's got, it's lacking in architectural detail as far as molding and trim around the windows and 
um, all of that kind of stuff. That's why I want to just like shiplap every surface. And <laughs> there's just so much character that you have to add in that they kind of strip down and had it to the minimum. But anyway, um, I hope that you got some ideas and were inspired to do some thrifting and you may find things that you don't expect and look in places that you don't expect. Like I found that on Marketplace and we went to this warehousey place in the next town over and found some beautiful things for, for a great price that are really going to look high-end um, decor when we're done with them. So if you like this kind of content, if you like DIY, home decor, um, just beautiful living on a budget and that is realistic beautiful living, um, subscribe hit the like button and make sure you hit the bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. And thanks for watching and I appreciate you. See you next time.